All right, so I'm taking a little break from this thing because a customer asked me if I could replace these boards for him. He wanted to trade me some uh, a stereo like system that he had. Uh, he's an older guy that I know, but he wanted to trade me a uh, stereo system for uh, swapping these boards out. So I'm gonna pull the boards off and then I figured we'd uh, paint the whole frame for him, why not? He's a nice guy and uh, it'll be nice to see a whole little refresh. So do a little refresh on this trailer. Get the before. And I'll see what it looks, what it looks like after. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll go semi-gloss black on this. Maybe flat, we'll see. All right, so we got the impact. Luckily it's just four bolts on each side and then one bolt on each board down here. So not too bad. This end though. I think this end is just towed in by this board. Yep, so nice and easy. Shouldn't be too too bad. We'll get those off. Uh, we'll hit the hit the uh, We'll wire wheel the whole frame and stuff like that and then we'll hit it with some black paint tonight go pick up some boards in the morning and we'll slap them on a little bit later i have a job to do i might all right so uh we got it all off uh the sideboards i had to take the saws all or no, sorry the grinder knock all those bolts off and then uh now we're going to backseat the backpack floor, get rid of all the leaves. Uh, frame's looking pretty good. But uh, then we'll take all the uh, wiring for the brake lights, we'll knock them off, and then we're going to give it a good uh, sand down and hit it with some of this. But yeah, should be pretty good. Uh, might even bust out the old paint gun and spray her down. Have some fun, you know. See what happens, but uh, yeah, let's blow it off. I was getting into it a little bit, and I knocked some chunks off, and found a hole, and found some more holes. When I said the frame was good, I meant from 10 feet. I hadn't actually got close to it yet. So uh, I've given it a look over, and it seems like just these two bars here. Rust it out, which is common, obviously, because uh, you got your wheels spitting up salt and stuff in the winter, in Canada at least. Uh, just doing absolute damage to those things. But Yeah, so I'll go pick up a piece of steel in the morning. Uh, we'll get them lopped off, weld new bars in. Not that big of a deal, just... Uh, Thirty dollars and a two hours of drive, like two hours with driving and welding, so it's not too too bad. But we're gonna take the uh, wire wheel to the rest of the frame right now. She's a little aggressive, but let's get it done. All right, so there we go, just like that. Got the glove on, because you don't catch me using this death wheel without a glove. But yeah. This thing uh, has burned out some lesser grinders, let me say. So, shout out to this thing. Alright, so I got the main part. I got stripped down enough. We'll do a little bit more before I, with the sander actually, before I go, but started cutting these off, but I gotta go, so I've got the steel in the morning and do that uh, tomorrow. Okay, so I went and got the wood. Uh, this is all the wood for the floor. I already dry fitted it. I would have filmed it, but I was on the phone the whole time I was doing it, so now it's all stacked up, but we're going to stain it quickly with some waterproof sealant. Um... I got the beam to replace that, 
we're gonna stain this first then we're gonna chop these up and get that beam welded on there and then hopefully paint it before the sun goes down wish me good luck that stain I showed before was crap when I opened it so I had to go searching for the stain I was actually looking for in the first place and we found it so got those stained up it took a while to find and got this cut off the sun is rapidly going down so we're gonna get this beam cut uh, and these spots cleaned up and then we'll get her welded in and hopefully get a coat of paint on before uh, before it gets too dark we'll see what happens might have to do it by headlamp all right, so I got these cleaned up, the bottom sides too, pretty well, and I got the beams cut out, but the sun went down on me, so we're going to have to do this in the morning, and I'll paint the trailer, and then put these boards on later, but yeah. Didn't go too bad. Uh, there was a decent amount of metal to lop off after, and weld laying on the ground, welding above, or grinding above your head is uh, tougher than I was expecting. But it was it was hard. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll get on with my night. I got a lot more of uh, that to do. Yeah. All right. It's the next morning, so I'm gonna get these little ends cleaned up. And then I'm going to uh, get the posts put on with uh, clamps and uh, we'll tack everything up and make sure it's good to go. Get everything ready to paint soon. I got these mocked up. Pretty happy with it. Not too bad. Um, so I'm going to put some rust paint on the contact points and then uh, weld it up. Alright, so beams are on. I uh, already grinded them down. Everything's ready to paint. Looking good. I'm pretty I'm really happy with uh happy with some of the welds. Some of them need a little grinding, but uh a lot of them are really good, especially for Flux Core MIG, I'm pretty happy. Uh I was testing out the paint gun, but the old paint gun shot, so we're just gonna brush it on. Uh so I sp spread a little bit that I didn't want to waste, so I'm going to go grab a brush and then I might uh, set up maybe a time lapse because I don't have a whole lot of storage on my phone. If I keep doing this, maybe I'll get a camera. Alright, the paint's all done. Uh, I tried to take a time lapse, but I actually took a regular video and then my phone ran out of storage, so. But it's looking real good. Took a while with the uh, paintbrush, but we got everything painted. I'm real happy with it. So we're gonna let it dry. Uh, finish painting it all up, and it looks real good. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Took a while with the brush, but uh, came out well. So that's good. Gonna let it uh, dry up for a little while longer, and then tonight, I think, before the sun goes down, got a bit of time. We'll get these boards put in and see how it's looking. Um, and then we got to measure the sides up and figure out exactly what size boards I need because I don't think those are going to work so I might build a, uh, a shelf. Alright, I got distracted with some other work but there's the boards laid in, it looks really good. Uh, I figured out the side measurements, what I got to do with it. Uh, I just got to go pick up a few boards tomorrow and then we're going to make it work with some of these and the ones I pick up in the morning, so everything should work out well. But yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. Quickly try to finish it up in the morning, and uh, yeah, definitely a really good transformation. I'm excited to see the uh, before and after final pictures. Alright, and I'm finished up. I'm really happy with this. I got about 200 bucks into uh, this refresh, so for 200, I'm not gonna complain. Got those new bars in there, new boards, all bolted up with new bolts. It's looking really good. Yeah, 
Oh, there we go. That's a $200 refresh. Probably took me a day and a half kind of thing. Um, spread it over three days though, because you can't do all the stuff right at once and you gotta wait for everything to dry, so. But yeah, went pretty well, I'm happy with it. Gonna go drop it off now, because I was supposed to be there, oh, uh, 15 minutes ago. But yeah, I'm gonna swing by and do that now. Well, thanks for watching. See you later.